Hello, my beautiful- Oh, no, it's changed. Hello, my loony wellness. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Rainbow Sims cast challenge. So this family is going to be Rainbow. I'm, still farting. I'm first starting out with the dad, who's going to be red. And the wife, who's going to be orange. Then their daughters, who are going to be yellow, green, blue, and purple. Kind of like lavender. Um, but So first, I started out trying to find his hair. I actually struggled with this part because I couldn't find exactly what I liked. Um, he, I actually tried doing a red skin and then that was way too much. Um, so yeah, I just kept on continuing with the hairs and it looked terrible for a while until I found this one, um, which I actually really liked. Um, and then I started playing around with his body type and I was just playing around with a lot of stuff because I wanted to kind of give him like for some reason I was like vampire when I saw him so I just kind of fidgeted it around with that and so he kind of looks a little bit like vampire-y I gave him some tattoos even though you won't be able to see them I just thought they look cool and then I looked for red pants and let me tell you finding red pants is extremely hard until I found these leather ones or yeah I think leather ones and then I just put them as red and I didn't love the top so then I just found this one and put it as red because I really like that one. Then I gave him some aspirations and then I also had to look up a name for him because I didn't know exactly what name to give my Sims because I didn't know what exactly was what color. So I went with Jasper for him because I like that name. And then I went to his wife. So she's actually a really cute Sim in my opinion. I'm really happy with her. At the beginning, like it's a total globe. Like right there, what is wrong with her? nothing okay so i just decided why not tweak her a little bit so i gave her a little bit of like different eye shape different eyebrow shape and then i put on like a skin detail because i loved um her eyes oh sorry about that i just got texted and then so i gave her like a little more different eye shape because that's the shape i use for everyone's eyes in my game um and so then i just started messing around with skin details and i found one that i really enjoyed and i left it with that As you can see I've been struggling with clothing for a very long time and I finally found this dress which I really liked um, and in real time that was probably around 15 minutes of me trying to find an outfit for her because I sped this up a lot um, because I am slow and I looked at those shoes for her but I didn't really love them and again it took me forever to find her a pair of shoes that I liked I found like this pair of those sandals that had like that little lace and I really liked those so I kept her with those for most of it and then I gave her a little like belly because she has had children and like so your skin's a little bit looser there so tight dresses can sometimes show it a little bit more um and then I gave her like a little body type to make her a little bit curvier um and I really like um the obscurus body types they're very like they're just my style kind of and that's the eyes I'm pretty sure I use too so I just kept on going with it and I genuinely liked how she looked then I gave her traits and her aspiration, and I don't remember what I named her. I think I named her Clementine, um, and I think I left it with that, and then I started going on to her daughter. And then as you can see, right after that, I did her daughter, like I said I would. Um, and for some reason, all my skins get skin sims get that, like, default like preset of like that super like bright skin it's supposed to be for extremely realistic skins and i downloaded it a while ago but i've never really used it and it just keeps on popping up on all my girl sims 
So if you guys know exactly what to do with that, please tell me because I am so confused. Um, so yeah, then I went to hair. And let me just tell you, finding hair for her was a journey. I couldn't find anything I actually liked. And then it took me two years to find out what I actually did like. Um, that is clearly exaggerated, but yeah. And then I found this hair that I really, really like, so I used it on her. Oh, and just so you don't, I'm going to stop talking about this for a second and just let this be in the background. And let me tell you guys something I have meant to say at the beginning of the video. I meant to say, sorry for not posting in like four to five weeks. I have been so busy with school and stuff like that, that I have not been able to post as much as I would like to. Um, so around sometime in February, I promise you it'll get better. Um, I already had this video pre-recorded a while ago. I just have been so busy that I haven't been able to do all of it um i've been cleaning a lot i've been doing homework i've been doing a lot of schoolwork and stuff like that so i just haven't had a lot of time to do it um and my weekends have been busy my school days have been busy i have um a lot of after school clubs and stuff like that um i say stuff like that so many times i'm sorry for pointing that out but i just had to say it so yeah i'm sorry for not posting as much as i would love to in I am sorry that you guys don't have a lot of content to watch right now. I promise that will get better. And yeah, so let's get straight back into me actually talking about the video and not talking about my personal life. So I went on to this sim um, and as you can see her hair, I changed it again. Um, and I really thought I liked this one, but then I, it didn't really suit her. So then I kept on looking at some other hairs um, and then I found this really short one. And I was just like, why not? I've never given it to a sim before. Why not give it to her? And she's actually like, she's very button nose. She's very cute. Um, and I really liked her outfit. Um, I need, I felt like she was like super tall though. So I felt like I needed to make her shorter. And then I had to look up yellow names. And I went with the name Primrose. Because I just love the Hunger Games. Primrose. Prim was one of my favorite characters. So I gave her that name. And then I realized I didn't give her mom any makeup either. So then I went back to her mom, gave her a ton of makeup, gave her some jewelry, and was like, okay, I think that's good. And then I went just straight to another child. Um, and as you guys know, it's red, orange, yellow, and then green. I think that's right, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, so I just forgot the rainbow for a second. But I just gave her some jewelry, then I went on to the next sim using genetics, and yeah. I really liked her, I think, after I gave her makeup. I think it suited her really well. Um, I didn't give her a ton, just a, a light amount, and then I gave her some cute golden earrings um, because I couldn't find really any orangey color earrings. So then I just went with that. I thought about giving her a nose piercing, and I'm pretty sure I stuck with it. Um, and then so I did another child, and I kind of edited their heights a little bit. I made the dad really tall, her a little bit shorter, gave her a little bit like slimmer shoulders, and then I started on the green child. And I named her Ivy. Ivy! My name just broke! Um, but yeah, I gave her um, the name Ivy. I really actually liked her. I thought she was really cute. I went to her teenage form to see what she looked like then. That, that sounded like Pokemon. I went to her teenage form, Pokemon Go! So I went to her Pokemon form. I mean, teenage form. Um... And yeah, so I went through a few like things to see what I liked more, what I thought was better. So then I kept on looking and looking and then I found like this little like nose piece and then I really liked it. So I just kind of kept her like that for a little bit. I really genuinely loved how she looked and I kept on going through different hairstyles because I didn't know what suited her better. I found these earrings, they didn't suit her. It was very hard to find stuff that actually suit her, but I loved how she looked and so I wanted to do her justice.
so as you can see over time i got frustrated with her hair because i did not like how it was looking so i went like okay what would look cute on her what was a little bit different what would i like to do so i found that hair and i was like that's cute but it's a lot and then i found these pigtails and i was like all right let's just go with these she's a kid pigtails if it works and so then i made her a twin sister they're kind of like identical but also not um and then she was going to be the blue child so i saw what she looked like in adult form or like young adult form because i wanted to see to make sure she had a chin and she did um and then i gave her this hairstyle because i thought it was really cute and i looked through like the other blue colors and i couldn't really find anything and then i gave her that dark blue headband because i like dark blue compared to light blue um and then i gave her a cute little i think it was a dress that i gave her or no it was a top and a little cute yeah, i gave her like a dark blue top and then some cute little shorts and then i gave her some little like mary james i'm pretty sure and then i gave her some blue eyes and i think i forgot to give her sister green eyes i don't remember if i did um but yeah i gave her like these cute little like grayish bluish eyebrows that i really liked she was i think super cute as well but i think i like the green one better and then I went back to her sister and to make sure she had green eyes, and she does, but I thought the pigtails suited her a little bit, um, and I don't know if they did or not, but I'm hoping they do. And then I made another little sister for them, and she was going to be the purple, but more turned out lavender. I don't know why exactly. She just, I wanted to give her light purple since she was like, that represented almost in my head innocence since she was so young and I had purple eyes which I love on her and she was so 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 cute I love toddlers in the sims because they are so cute um but yeah I think little sim toddlers are just so cute and like so adorable so I wanted to give her a little bit of justice with her hair and her skin tone and I loved her little skin and I wanted to give her a little short haircut and then I found that one and I was like oh my gosh that looks so cute so then i gave her a little bit of blush a little bit of freckles and a cute little like lavender dress and then i gave her a cute little socks cute little knee highs and then i did the final little touch details and then i went on to like touring not touring <laughs> showing off what i had made and i gave them traits that i really liked that i thought matched them and yeah so then i started showing what they looked like and here is what they did um, so I thought they were really, really, really cute. Um, I really like, I think, the mom the most. I think she's really cute, but we're on the dad right now. I'm showing you what he looks like. That is Jasper, who is really cute. I think they made some really cute children. Um, so if you want to download this family, I'm pretty sure I'm adding it to the gallery, or I've already added it. Um, so if you want to see my thing, just check out the description. And yeah, that is the mom, my favorite one. And then I went to the next daughter who i thought was pretty cute um she's not my best sim ever but she's not my worst sim ever i'm pretty sure my first sims i ever made were terrible they were absolute garbage um and then i went to her little sisters um which i think my favorite one was a toddler and the mom i don't know why i thought she was really cute i think i could have done better on the hair but i just kind of rushed it um i think i've also could have been uh, done better on the outfit but i again rushed it i like her um as well because she looks way more put together than her sister um and i really like how i chose her outfit she looks very like she looks like a perfectionist a plus student and then the little they sister totally toddler which was it. so cute and i hope so you guys did, did too this so challenge please like and I... subscribe and have a beautiful day bye my loony llamas